All right, so what I want to do is I want to show you how to solve um, this problem. It says log base 3 of 3x plus 8 is equal to log base 3 of x squared plus x. So usually what we've been doing before is I was showing you how to solve, um, you know, by transferring from logarithm to exponential, right? So when I'm transferring from logarithm to exponential, what's so important about that is it isolates the variable x. But now we have a problem because we have two logarithms here. So I can't use that same formula of transferring over to exponential form. I got to be able to develop a different way to get rid of these logarithms or figure out a way to solve for them. So one thing that's really powerful about logarithms is, you know, we talked about if I have 4 to the x equals 4 squared, then we know that x has to equal 2, right? Well, let's put it back to my one logarithm that I said. If I know that the log of 3 raised to some number equals 2, which we know is or 9 equals 2, and then if I say, well, log base 3 raised to x, then we know that x has to equal 9. It's the same thinking right here, just now with logarithms. So I don't know what 3x plus 8 or x squared plus x equals. I don't know what my value of x is, but I know that since I have a log of the same base, these two have to be equal to each other, and I can just get rid of my two logarithms. So now I have 3x plus 8 equals x squared plus x. And now we've gotten to the critical point in solving. And a lot of students remember solving, all right? And the most thing, first thing you learned was just isolate the variable, right? And it's very simple to isolate your variable and then solve for it and see you know, what x equals. Well, here I have an x squared, an x, and an x on both sides of the equation. I just can't get an x by itself. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use a um, factoring technique and then use the zero product property, which states that if I can write, oops, if I can write something as a product of a times b equals zero, then I can say that a equals b, or I'm oh, sorry, a equals zero, or b equals zero. So to do that, I need to get these to equal 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 3x and the negative 8 on both sides. Therefore, I'm left with 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. Now, the next thing I need to do is factor this. And I see, OK, so right now it's right as a trinomial. Again, I want to write it as a product of two factors. Therefore, I'm going to have to use my factoring technique. Well, for this one, since I have a trinomial with a is equal to 1, I can factor this into x minus 4 times x plus 2. Now you can say that this is the same thing as that's a, that's b, multiply them equals 0. So I can say x minus 4 equals 0 and x plus 2 equals 0, where x equals 4 and x equals negative 2. And there you go. Those are my two answers. Understand? Make sense? Okay, great.